na imbag na aldaw. I'm Trina, a graduate student from UPOU. Kumusta? And I am Zeke, a graduate student from the Faculty of Education. Welcome to the UPOU Student Orientation Program 2021. This might be uncertain times for everyone, but we hope for everybody's safety and wellness today. We will be your host for today's activity. We are live streaming via the UPOU network and Facebook page. To start the program, let us stand and sing the Philippine National Anthem. So, before we proceed with the program, may we acknowledge the presence of the university officials, faculty, staff members, and reps who are here with us today. Dahil po sa inyo, kaya naging posible ang programang ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. Yes, we are truly thankful for your support. And even in the midst of this pandemic, we are called to take part in this wonderful virtual activity. For us to know more about our university, the University of the Philippines Open University. Moving forward, as many of you would have noticed by now, UPOU is the only constituent unit of the UP system that is fully online. Our classrooms are in a virtual space, but we do have a physical campus. Guess what? A virtual tour has been prepared for us today. UPOU officials and staff will share more information and details about the different programs, features, and services that our university has to offer. As well as the offices that will help you throughout your academic journey, but before that, let's listen to our university president, Danilo L. Concepcion, on his welcome remarks for the new students of the UPOU. Maligayang bati sa ating mga eskolar ng bayan. Siguradong sabik na sabik na kayong makabalik at makapag-aral sa inyong mga campus. Kami man sa administrasyon ay napapaisip din kung kailan magbabalik ang dating sigla sa ating universidad. Sa ngayon, Sadyang napakahirap pang matiyak kung kailan nga ba. Ayaw naming makipagsapalaran sa pakatlubaha pang mapanganib. Ayaw naming malagay sa alanganin ang isa man sa inyo kung ating ipipilit na mag-face-to-face classes muli ang karamihan sa atin. Ginagawa pa rin naman namin ang lahat ng aming makakaya upang matugunan ang inyong mga pangangailangan, mapaakads man, o mapaibabang aspeto ng inyong buhay. Humihingi po kami ng pangunawa kung kami man ay may pagkukulang sa pagpapaabot ng pagkalinga. Umasa kayo na patuloy nating itataguyod ang kapakanan ng ating buong komunidad. Sa ating first year students, may mga konsepto tungkol sa buhay UP na nais kong ibahagi sa inyo. Magsisilbi na rin itong paalala sa iba pa nating mga mag-aaral. Huwag kayong mag-alala, hindi naman ito kahabaan. Una ay ang magkaakibat na mga prinsipyo ng dagal at husay tungo sa paglilingkod. Ang paglilingkod ng walang dangal ay nakaririmarin. Hindi ito maguugat at yayabong tungo sa pagbatagalan na kabutihan ng sangkatauhan. Ang paglilingkod naman, kung hindi ginamitan ng sukdulan ng ating kagalingan, ay salat sa kabuluhan. Huwag nating asahan na magiging makahulugan ang ating paglilingkod kung ang ibinuhos lamang natin ay ang pinakamababang antas ng ating galing. Hindi pwede ang pwede na. Pangalawa ay kalayaan. 
Hindi lamang academic freedom kung saan malaya kayong tumuklas at bumuo ng iba't ibang kaisipan, paniniwala at pagkilos. Dito sa UP, malaya kayong magpahayag ng inyong mga ideya at saloobin. Malaya kayong ipakita ang tunay ninyong mga sarili. Maraming uri ng tao kayong makikilala at makakasalamuha sa ating mga campus kung saan kayo naka-enroll. Galangin natin ang karapatan ng bawat isa sa atin. Hindi kailanman magiging katanggap-tanggap ang diskriminasyon dito sa UP. Sa lahat ng ating mga iskolar ng bayan, naririto kami para kayo ay gabayan at saklulohan sa abot ng aming kakayahan. Sa hangganan ng lahat ng maaari at posibleng gawin. Handa kaming makinig sa inyong mga hinaing at anawain ng inyong mga karanasan at saloobin at gumawa o humanap ng lunas kung kinakailangan. Bukas ang UP sa inyong lahat. Hindi man bukas na pisikal ang mga kampus at opisina, kami ay maaabot pa rin naman ninyo gamit ang mga alternatibong paraan ng pakikipagtalastasan. Sa panahong ito, hinihiling namin na lahat tayo ay magkaisa sa pagbaybay sa landas tugo sa bagong buhay UP. Buhay na hindi tulad ng dati at hindi rin tulad ng ngayon. Matindi ang mga pagbabagong dinala at patuloy na dinadala ng pandemyang ito. Ang mahalaga ay ang magkasama nating pagpapalakas sa ating kakayahang umangkop at bumangon. Ang mahalaga ay ang magkasama nating pagpapalakas sa ating kakayahang umangkop at bumangon. Kakayanin natin ito, mga isko at iska. Mabuhay! Thank you for those words of encouragement, President Concepcion. Moving forward, let's hear some words of wisdom from our UPOU Chancellor, Dr. Melinda de la Peña Bandelaria. Isang mahalab na pagbati at pagsalubong sa mga bagong isko at iska ng UPOPEN University. Warm greetings to our new students at the UPOPEN University. I am happy that you are allotting time to attend this orientation program. In so doing, we can say that you are starting your journey at UPOU the right way. This orientation program is being held to provide you, our new students, with relevant information that will guide you in your studies. Since we are 100% online, the information that you will need to connect with us are all there, available 24-7 wherever you are. The ubiquitousness of our system is something that empowers both our students and teachers as it provides you with the flexibility which may come handy from time to time. At UPOU, there is that certain power that you have as learners in terms of having a certain level of control on how, where, and when you will study or engage in the different learning activities. But of course, we know that with great power also comes great responsibility. And for you to be able to effectively manage that power brought about by the flexibility that, that we have here at UPOU, there are certain conditions and guidelines that you need to know. And these are all discussed or explained during this orientation program. Likewise, if there are concerns or things that are not clear to you, then this is also your opportunity to ask or seek clarifications. May I also add, that during this orientation program, you will meet virtually the faculty, staff, and officials of the university who will be joining you in your journey as UPOU student. And of course, I'm sure, like right now, you are even um, already um, introducing yourself or uh, getting to know some of your classmates uh, or batchmates in the program that you are enrolled in. As we continue the battle against the COVID-19, and while there are still these restrictions on mobility, you are in no way different from the other students of other universities, since everyone is now under the remote mode of instruction. What makes you different is that we, here at UPOU, we are set up to deliver instruction in the distance e-learning mode. Hence, our faculty and staff are well-trained and our learner support system 
was designed to reach our geographically dispersed learners. Even beyond the pandemic, you, our students at UPOU, will continue to enjoy the flexibility that distance e-learning provides and consequently allows you to continue to be engaged in some other activities that you have now. Indeed, you are the new breed of learners, maximizing the affordances of the modern ICTs for your education and learning. This already mirrors what it's like to be lifelong learners, which we hope you will be and will advocate henceforth. As a cyber university, there is a wider diversity in terms of learners profile here at UPOU. And in fact, it is highly possible that you will have classmates based outside the country as they comprise about 24% of our student population. Again, this profile enriches your learning environment and makes way for authentic learning to happen. As you start studies at UPOU, let me warn you though, that studying in this mode of instruction is really not that easy, as you will have to assume a bigger responsibility as independent learner. There will be lots of readings and writings. There will be lots of work to do, academic projects, course requirements, and you will have to do it yourself. Of course, even in the residential uh, or conventional system of education, these are the things that are expected from the students. No one will do these things for you. You probably have heard of some criticisms to the online mode of instruction, like the lack of socialization among learners, but probably, and I think you will agree with me, that this is no longer true, given the many digital platforms that can be used for communication and collaboration in the course of your studies in this university. In fact, my observation is that there is a higher level of socialization among learners at UPOU, both in the cyber and in the physical world. Face-to-face -face meetings among learners, I noted uh, among my students, when they do happen are always happy occasions. There are also some stories that you may have heard of like it is easy to plagiarize academic works at UPOU, given that we are fully online. But of course, it is also something that is happening even in conventional setup and other sorts of academic dishonesty, like topping the paper meals or the most recent course hero. Just a reminder that the university upholds honor and excellence, and there are university policies that address acts of academic dishonesty. So don't ever think of doing it. As I always say during orientation programs like this, as a reminder to our new students, when the going gets rough and definitely there will be times that it will be rough, think of your graduation day and say that mantra or even adopt the hashtag, sasablay din ako. So let's all look forward to that day, nasasablay kayo. Again, welcome to the UP Open University your university, and enjoy your journey with us. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Thank you so much for the thoughtful message, Chancellor. Now, you guys might still be wondering what, what's it really like being a student at UPOU? Do we have a facility of our own or where its physical location is? Please stay tuned as we play a video prepared especially for new and upcoming students. This will take you on a virtual tour at the university campus. The University of the Philippines Open University is one of the constituent units of the UP system. It was established on February 23, 1995. UPOU pioneered in online teaching and learning, and it continues to lead in the study and practice of open learning and distance education in the Philippines and in the Asian region. From 1995 to early 1999, UPOU offices were housed in various UP campuses. Before 1999 ended, the majority of the UPOU offices moved to its own campus in Los Baños, Laguna, beside its sister university, UP Los Baños. The UPOU campus is housed in a 23.18 hectare of land awarded by the UP Board of Regents in 1996 at its 1097 meeting. 
UPOU's headquarters can be easily accessed through the Los Baños National Highway. Its landmark is the UPOU seal and the statues of men and women in an art installation called The Culture of Sharing Wisdom. This was conceptualized, designed, and sculptured by Dr. Grace Javier Alfonso, the third chancellor of UPOU. To the right of the sculpture is the UPOU Community Hub, which serves as a venue for interaction, training, idea generation, and sharing among members of the UPOU community and UPOU's immediate public. It houses the following UPOU offices. Office of Public Affairs and Souvenir Shop, the Multimedia Center, the Ognayan ng Pahinungod UPOU, the Office of Student Affairs, and the Office of Gender Concerns. The building also has the following function areas, Galeria Sinag, and Bong Ognayan. At the entrance of the UPOU campus is the Oblation Park. At the Park Center is the UPOU Oblation Interactive Sculpture. The interactive sculpture stands on a pedestal and appears to be lifted by a swirling ribbon. This ribbon symbolizes the Philippine flag, with stars around it signifying Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It raises the oblation to greater heights which represents the university's ultimate goal of widening access to education. The UPOU oblation, which is a replica of Guillermo Tolentino's UP oblation, was conceptualized and sculpted by Dr. Grace Javier Alfonso. Surrounding the UPOU oblation are four lagoons. This represents the core values of UPOU, which are excellence, equity, efficiency, and humanism. It is in the oblation park where the UPOU had been holding its commencement exercises for almost 15 years. The building right after the park is the UPOU administration building. It is the first building constructed in the campus. At the lobby of the building is the abstract rendition of the oblation, which is entirely made of wood and crafted using traditional woodworking techniques. The UPOU main building houses different academic and administrative offices. At the first floor is the UPOU library, registrar's office. At the second floor are the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration, FMDS's Faculty Secretary's Office, UPOU Audiovisual Room, and Multimedia Center Studio. At the third floor of the building are the Office of the Chancellor, Office of the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Faculty of Management and Development Studies Dean's Office and Admin Office. Behind the UPOU Administration Building is a small park called The Walk. The Walk is a network of paths designed to promote exploration of nature and active lifestyle among the members of the UPOU community. The benches in the park were made of recycled materials from old water closets of the Administration Building. On the right side of the main building are the Teaching and Learning Hub. The TLH shall soon house the three faculty offices of UPOU, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, and Faculty of Management and Development Studies. On the left of the Administration Building is the Instructional Materials Development and Printing Office or IMDPO Building. On the first floor is UPOU's in-house printing and production unit. It also has a multi-purpose function room called the Oblation Hall. It is the area where putting oble is. At the moment, IMDPO also houses two faculty offices, the Faculty of Education and the Faculty of Information and Communication Studies. Next to the IMDPO building is the UPOU Multi-Purpose Hall a gym-like area for outdoor and recreational activities of the university. Right next to this hall is the Centennial Plaza. In the middle of the plaza is the Centennial Marker, a metal sculpture created by Philippine national artist Mr. Napoleon V. Abueva. The sculpture is called The Pursuit of Education. 
which symbolizes education in all forms for the building and strengthening of communities and the Filipino nation. Right next to the plaza is the Centennial Center for Digital Learning Building, where Learners Hall, UPO to Sandbox, the CCDL Auditorium, and the Campus Maintenance and Development Office are located. Further down the road is the newly constructed Academic Residences, a three-story building that is intended to accommodate UPOU students, staff, faculty members, and guests who are doing academic and administrative activities in the campus. A number of additional buildings inside the campus are now in various stages of construction. The International Convention Center is envisioned to serve as a primary venue for international and national conferences for open and distance e-learning and other similar undertakings. The UPOU Learning Commons, an expansion of the Teaching and Learning Hub, shall soon house the UPOU Library. The Multimedia Center building shall serve as the development and production hub of multimedia learning materials. It shall have audio and video recording studios, video conferencing rooms, training rooms, and maker space. Thank you for joining the UPOU Virtual Tour. We're looking forward to having you with us on campus soon. Have a great day! Excited na ba ang lahat? Being a student in the UPOU is both a joy and a challenge, especially in these trying times. UPOU is actually the youngest unit of the UP system. It has been around for only 26 years, having been established on February 23, 1995, when the internet was just about to be introduced. So ma'am, can you imagine back then the life of UPOU students being distance learners? Actually, I can, but it sounds exciting. I do hope to learn more about the nitty-gritties of the university. The University of the Philippines Open University, or UPOU, is one of the constituent universities of the University of the Philippines system. The governance of the national university is vested in the Board of Regents of the University of the Philippines system. The UP system is headed by the UP president, who serves as the chief academic officer of the university. The UP Open University, as an autonomous unit is managed by a set of university officials headed by the Chancellor. The UPOU Chancellor performs the overall management, supervision, and administration of UPOU with the help of various UPOU offices under the major offices. The Office of the Vice-Chancellor for Academic Affairs, the Office of the Vice-Chancellor for Finance and Administration, and the Faculty Offices, the Faculty of Education, the Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, and the Faculty of Management and Development Studies. The heads of the various UPOU offices, together with the UPOU faculty and staff, strive hard to provide timely, flexible, and seamless support services to its students through the various activities, initiatives, and programs of the university. The Office of the Chancellor, or OC, is headed by the Chancellor. The office performs the overall management, supervision, and administration of UPOU. It sets the strategic direction of UPOU to perform its functions, accomplish its mandate as stated in its vision, mission, and goal statements as defined under the Republic Act 9500 or the UP Charter of 2008, as well as the Republic Act 10650 or the Open and Distance Learning Act of 2014. Under the Office of the Chancellor are seven offices, namely Budget Office, Office of Public Affairs or OPA, Information and Communication Technology Development Office or ICTDO, Multimedia Center or MC, Office of Gender Concerns or OGC, the Office of Legal Counsel, and the Ugnaya ng Pahinungoy. One of the main units under the Chancellor's Office is the Office of the Vice-Chancellor for Academic Affairs or OVCAA. Under OVCAA are four offices. OVCAA is headed by the Vice-Chancellor for Academic Affairs. The office supports the Chancellor in monitoring and coordinating instructional, curricular, research, extension, library, and other academic-related programs in UPOU. 
The offices under the supervision of the OVCAA are the following. The Office of the University Registrar or OUR The Office of the Academic Support and Instructional Services or OASIS The Office of Student Affairs or OSA and the University Library. Another main unit of the Chancellor's Office is the Office of the Vice-Chancellor for Finance and Administration, or OVCFA. OVCFA is headed by the Vice-Chancellor for Finance and Administration. The office supervises the university's financial, physical, and human resources. It particularly oversees the following offices, namely, the Accounting Office, the Campus Development and Maintenance Office or CDMO, the Cash Office, the Human Resources Development Office or HRDO, and the Supply and Property Management Office or SPMO. Let us now proceed to the Faculties of Studies. UPOU has three faculty offices. These are the Faculty of Education, the Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, and the Faculty of Management and Development Studies. Each faculty is headed by a dean and assisted by the secretary to the faculty. The academic programs are managed by the program chairs. Programs offered by the three faculties can be accessed through their respective websites. The Faculty of Education or FED is mandated to offer degree programs in teacher training as well as design and deliver relevant degree and non-degree programs that are responsive to the needs of teacher education. FED particularly aims to support culture of continuous learning that will sustain professional growth and advance lifelong learning through degree and non-degree programs as well as instructional packages especially designed for distance learners. The Faculty of Information and Communication Studies, or FICS, specializes in Information and Communication Studies. It actively participates in the development of integrated, innovative, and socially relevant information and communication sciences in Southeast Asia. Moreover, it aims to spearhead effective practices using information and communication technologies through proactive extension programs that respond to the needs of the development sector. The Faculty of Management and Development Studies, or FMDS, handles policy, program and development concerns related to research and development, land valuation, environment and natural resources management, nursing, international health, public management, and social work. Over time, these areas of study have become the teaching, research, extension, and public service areas of FMDS. Guided by the tagline, Pamantasang Bukas para sa Magandang Bukas, UPOU administrators, faculty, and staff are committed to teaching and learning, research and innovation, public service, and governance and administration that are underpinned by the principles of scholarship and academic excellence, inclusivity and equity, responsiveness and social relevance, collaboration, and community and sustainable development for all. Wow, I see that UPOU has already expanded. Yes, ma'am. Moreover, there has been numerous developments and progress within the university. We already branched out to services that are new, innovative, and useful for new and upcoming or even continuing students. Siginga, I'd love to hear some of the tools and services that I can use to help me with my journey in the university. The UP Open University has been delivering quality higher education for more than 25 years. This is done through Open and Distance E-Learning, or ODEL, to Filipinos and foreign students based in more than 70 countries all over the world. To assist the ODEL students in their learning needs, UPOU provides various learner support services. But first, what is learner support? Learner support, or sometimes called student support, is the services provided to students to cope with the demands of learning. In UPOU, there are three levels of support. These are university slash institutional level support, faculty slash program level support, and course level support. 
The Institutional Learner Support in UPOU is provided by various offices under the Office of the Chancellor, Office of the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, and Faculty Offices. These are Information Support, Learner Intake Support, Administrative Support, Technological Support, Study Skills Assistance, Counseling, Library Support, Support to Students with Disabilities, Student Rights and Gender Considerations, Learner Satisfaction Monitoring and Environmental Scanning, and Examination and Test Services. Information support is one such support. This starts once an individual browses the various UPOU websites, UPOU help desk, and social media pages, and sends inquiries about the university. UPOU ensures that the information given is complete, accurate, and updated so that they will find the information they need. On the other hand, learner intake support is provided for newly admitted students. This is again provided remotely. UPOU admitted student applicants are given detailed information on how to apply, to enroll or register, on documents to submit, on the important dates to remember, on the details related to payment of fees, and available financial assistance. Another important component of the learner intake support is the UPOU virtual orientation for new students, where students are provided more information about UPOU, the UPOU virtual classroom, the life of an online learner, among others. Aside from academic-related supports, a UPOU student is provided with various administrative supports, which are usually provided by the Office of the University Registrar, or OUR, and by the Secretary to the Faculty. The OUR provides the following admission and graduation administrative support, application for admission, semestral registration, record keeping, student information management, online grades, and graduation-related matters. For other administrative matters related to student support, the UPOU Secretary to the Faculty will assist the students. As UPOU is a purely online university, technological support is also provided. This includes support on email account issuance, learning management systems, academic information management system, various software and services, and technological support through an online help desk system. For assistance related to any of UPOU online system, please email techsupport at upou.edu.ph. UPOU provides e-learners with the following study skills assistance by teaching students how to find reliable learning resources, make critical analysis of online information slash resources, improve reading comprehension, annotate online resources, write papers, research papers, cite sources, and avoid plagiarism. Resources can be found at the UPOU Networks and UPOU Library. UPOU has an online psychosocial support hub to help students cope with various kinds of stress and issues related to their studies. When needed, e-learners are referred to undergo counseling. For inquiries about personal, social and emotional support and career guidance, send an email to counseling at upou.edu.ph. The University Library has maximized the affordances of the current online library services and resources to cater to the information needs of the UPOU students and faculty and staff members wherever they are. Support for differently abled students. The University has also put in place support to make learning more inclusive, especially for students who are differently abled. Assistive learning technologies and alternative formats for learning and assessment materials are considered during the preparation of learning materials. Student support at UPOU is also gender responsive and upholds student rights. Students who would like to report gender issues and sexual harassment can report through here. Code of conduct is followed and acknowledgement of ownership of knowledge, intellectual property, honesty, and integrity are always considered. Learner satisfaction monitoring and environmental scanning are also put in place to increase students' program completion and success rate. OSA also offers examination services program, which takes charge of the overall administration and delivery of proctored academic examinations done at UPOU-designated examination venues or via online. 
at the program support level, the UPOU students shall be walked through the program or course planning. This includes information and program requirements. Program advising is provided by the program chair. The third and last level of support is course level support. Course level support is provided by the faculty in charge or FIC of the course. With these student support services available at UPOU, we hope that you can adapt easily to the requirements of being a distance e-learner. We hope you'll enjoy your learning journey with UPOU. Ooh, that's a lot. New students, are you still with us? We still have a few things we wanted you to be oriented with. By the way, Zach, there's a lot of support groups discussed in the video. Yes, ma'am. Actually, we have the UPOU Peer Support Group provide psychosocial and mental wellness support for the students given that what we do is heavily online. Wow, that's great, Zach. I wonder if there's a website, a platform, or maybe a page that contains all these information just in case I miss something. Glad that you asked, Mom Trina. We actually have a forum-style page in UPOU My Portal. It can be a platform for you to orient yourself with the materials that might be useful throughout your academic journey. In this video, we will walk you through the student orientation site. First, you need to log into My Portal. The UPOU student orientation will be one of your enrolled courses. The first information you will see at the site is about UPOU and open and distance e-learning. You may watch the short videos about UPOU and about the Odell framework in order to be more familiar about UPOU and its mode of teaching and learning. You will also be given tips on how to be organized as a distance learner and the needed online study skills to get you ready in your studies. Let us discuss the different support services and platforms that will help you in your study. The first support services you have availed of even before you became an official student of the university is information support. Information support is provided through the UPOU website, ticketing services, automated support, and social media pages. Let's discuss My Portal. My Portal is your virtual classroom where you can access all your courses and other relevant information needed in your studies. It is where you interact with your faculty in charge or FIC and fellow learners, as well as submit your assignment and other course requirements. The UPOU Networks is the online repository of multimedia resources produced by UPOU. It is intended to make learning more accessible to a larger community. Another part of the student services is the library. Library support provides you with access to electronic databases as well as access to physical books and resources. Now, let's focus on the student services provided by the Office of Student Affairs. The office provides information, advice, and guidance to students regarding their psychosocial, financial, emotional and academic needs and concerns when studying at UPOU. The Office of the University Registrar is another office that will provide you with assistance from enrollment to graduation. It is responsible for student admissions to registration, grade reporting and transcript of records generation, and maintenance of academic records. Now, let's talk about your faculty offices. The Faculty of Education is one of the degree-granting units of the University of the Philippines Open University mandated to offer degree programs in teacher training, design and deliver new programs that reflect the expertise of UPOU, and are responsive to teacher education needs. The unit aims to maintain a system of continuing education to sustain professional growth and promote lifelong learning to both degree and non-degree programs and instructional packages appropriate to distance learners. The Faculty of Information and Communication Studies is committed to advancing scholarship in information and communication studies in Southeast Asia by spearheading the evolution of an integrated information and communication science, developing innovative information and communication programs, trailblazing in research exploring the social impact of information and communication technology, piloting innovative applications of information and communication technologies through a proactive extension program that would cater to the needs of the development assistance sector. The Faculty of Management and Development Studies is a collection of various disciplines spanning from health to the environment to management and to the development studies. It deals with policy, program, and development concerns related to environment and natural resources management, land valuation, research and development, nursing, international health, social work, and public management. 
The other offices which may take part in your journey as a student are the Office of Gender Concerns and the Ognaya ng Pahinungod. Again, welcome to UP Open University and good luck on your journey as a UPOU student. You got that right! UPOU never failed to surprise us talaga with its innovative and savvy solutions tailored for its students. Yes, but there might be some concerns that I need help with. Is there someone I can ask? Perfect! Yes, UPOU recently implemented a help desk service. It automatically responds to the queries of the students ranging from academic to administrative concerns. The UP Open University currently uses a ticketing system called the UPOU Help Desk to provide support to its stakeholders, the students, faculty, staff, alumni, and the public. The UPOU Help Desk makes it easy for its users to get help or support. This system easily provides information you would find on the official UPOU website and microsites. Even without the help of a support staff, a UPOU stakeholder can get support through the UPOU Help Desk's support portal. This portal emphasizes self-help since anyone who visits the portal can look for answers to their questions or concerns without sending an email. Through the portal, they can browse through frequently asked questions or FAQs or other information relevant to the university. The portal and its contents save time for the users since they do not have to wait for answers, especially about general and simple questions. Stakeholders may still send inquiries through the support portal when they need more help. The UPOU Help Desk is feature-rich and easy to use. These are its main features. The knowledge base contains the solution articles about the necessary information needed by a stakeholder. Solution articles are grouped by topic to allow users to locate information more easily. Search bar. If unable to locate among the list of articles, Users may search for their topic on the search bar. Find the title of the solution article that best fits your inquiry or concern. In case you can't find the right article, you can also try searching using different keywords related to your inquiry. If you are reading a solution article, you will also see a list of suggested related articles on the right side of the page. These are very helpful, especially if you want to navigate through more articles. If the information needed is not on the UPOU Help Desk, stakeholders may send inquiries by filing a support ticket. Stakeholders can monitor their support tickets on the UPOU Help Desk by clicking on Check Ticket Status. UPOU Help Desk users can also engage in conversations with other stakeholders and UPOU support staff through community forums by posting topics on concerns, inquiries, or other related matters. We hope you'll find the UPOU Help Desk truly helpful. Wow, that's a relief. Help Desk to help us with our needs, like you, Zach, who's been really helpful. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a lot of help too, and I hope that this helps a lot of students in the future. Now, as we conclude the ceremony, may we now welcome Dr. Maria Rowena Raimundo, for her closing remarks. Isang maalab na pagbati sa mga bagong iskolar ng bayan na nakibahagi sa kagaganap na student orientation. Sana ay naliwanagan kayo sa iba't ibang mga bagay na may kinalaman sa pag-umpisa ng inyong pag-aaral sa UPOU. Sana rin ay nakatulong ito sa pagbawas ng inyong mga pag-aagam-agam sa gitna ng pandemya. 
alam nating lahat na hindi sana ito ang nais nating sitwasyon sa pag-umpisa ng inyong pag-aaral sa unibersidad. Ngunit, sa gitna ng mga pagsubok na ito, lagi sana ninyong isaisip na narito kami ang mga guro at tauhan ng UPOU upang kayo ay tulungan at gabayan sa inyong pag-aaral sa tradisyon ng dangal at husay. Pag-aaral tungo sa paglilingkod sa bayan. Maraming salamat at maligayang pagdating sa UPOU. What a day! Thank you, Zach. Thank you for helping me go through the entire orientation program. Yes, ma'am. I think you did great as well. It's always a pleasure to be of help to anyone. Remember that in UPOU, we are one community. To formally conclude the event, may we request for a short pause for the singing of UP Naming Mahal. Again, maraming, maraming salamat, salamat at, at padayon. padayon.